area again to the sales budget and say it equals the sum of the July, August, and September information. So we're talking about the quarter here. So we're going to say enter. And then we have the general and admin, general administrative salaries, general administrative salaries. So we're going to say equals. I'm going to scroll up to the general administrative. And again, we paid cash for it, so that would be on the cash budget. But I'm going to go to the general and administrative salaries, which is the sum of these 11,000. So I'm going to say this equals the sum of the J July, August, and September. And actually, I have a total column over here, but we could have done it either way. It's the 33,000. 33,000. And then we've got the long-term note interest. That is, of course, an expense, being that it's on the income statement. I'm going to say that equals, and I'm actually going to pull that from the cash flow statement. So we had the long term, 5000 a month. I'm just going to pick up that 15 right there instead of going all the way up. And then we've got interest expense. We'll call it short term note interest. We also had another note. Maybe we had that smaller note, and that was the just the 120 here because we paid it off, remember, after the first month. So the only expense we have on that is the 120 we paid in July. And that will then give us our total operating expense. So this number we will pull out to the outside here. And we're going to sum up this column. So we're going to sum up the left-hand column, the operating expenses. So this equals the sum of. And we're going to take the uh, 130, 248 down to the 120, adding those up, giving us the 188, 868. We could underline this if we want. Home tab over here, underline if we so choose. And that will give us the net income before tax. So we'll tab over here, net income before taxes is going to be the gross profit, what we had sales after cost goods sold, gross profit minus the other operating expenses. And note that we always calculate taxes at the end because income taxes kind of throw things off because uh, they obviously go up as net income goes up, income before taxes go up. And we said that there was a tax rate if we look at our data of 35%. So we're just going to take this number here, 66,467 times 0.35, and that's going to be how much tax we pay. Now notice that 35% is a flat tax. It's a simplified type of tax. We often have to do that in real life. There's a progressive tax, which is much more complicated to uh, do a budget on. So oftentimes we'll, we'll estimate a flat tax when we're, when we're doing an estimate such as this. So we're going to say this equals the 66,467 minus the tax then. And that will give us the 43,204.